sometimes it takes my camera a minute for my voice to pick up and adjust to sound. But I noticed on some of my videos you can't hear me talking right at the first. But what I did here is this is some of what we've picked, not all of it. It'll eventually rot. You can see this tomato already needs throwing out. What I do is I'll take that and feed that to the chickens as they rot. But I put that screen on there. And what it's done is it's raised up a little, let some air get under there. It keeps stuff from rotting in so fast. And I had done laid this cucumber out. It's gonna rot laying here eventually, but it will last a little longer being able to get some air under it. And I love these Orient Express cucumbers, but now this potato peeler is ideal for peeling cucumbers. And I'm gonna tell you another trick on your squash when they get a little big the skin gets hard on the squash before and i don't have any up here but they get hard before the insides run if that skin turns an orangish looking color you can take that peeler and peel that skin off and then cut that up and and fry it or cook it however and it's still the squash will still be good to eat so if you if you've got some that's gone a little long in the garden and you still you know you need them you don't have plenty uh, you can peel that orange off and still eat that squash. And that, I'm doing that with crookneck squash, yellow crookneck. But when I was picking the other day, I, all those that are inside that you saw, these were not quite yellow yet. But they are turning. This one, it fell off the vine. It was fully, fully green when, I, when it fell off the vine. And I brought it around there, and that's a hillbilly potato leaf. These are Cherokee purples. is we're going to give you a quick look of late summer. Now this is, this is late in the year. This is July the 20th. This is after the grass is taken over wide open. And I just want to give you a quick update, walk through and kind of what shape things are in at this, this late in the year. Still producing, but things don't look as well. And uh, we've had a lot of rain, and in the last week it hadn't rained very much. So the day before yesterday I watered. I'll water again this afternoon just to try to help the stuff produce. But we've probably pulled about as much as I need out of most of it. But I'm going to give you a walkthrough and let you see what we've got here. Now these tomatoes right here haven't, haven't made. This is the ones that you see a video I just stuck. For some reason, my pepper, my pepper's always a little late coming in. I cleaned out around it. It's it's actually just started making. But now on the squash, you still see it is making. There is a little squash in there. But these vines, you see they starting to look rough. They're not going to make very much longer. We've done well to keep them making. So we're going to give up on them here before long. We'll continue to pick as long as they make. But they're going to... And these tomatoes, I purposely planted these tomatoes late. And I'm fixing to come back through here and retie up again. You see some of them's tied up. Uh, they just starting to make. They going they in fact it'll probably be later this week, but there's one that fell off in the process of me hoeing, but the worms had already got to that one and and all. But this late in the year it's hard to make them look pretty, and especially down here in the garden. Now you see these orient express cucumbers you've seen up there on the table i had a pile of them they're still producing but they they on their last leg now what i did i left a large one down there i'm gonna do the same thing with the squash the purpose of that one is to collect seed from so uh, there's one or two there you see them turning yellow i'm probably gonna leave them i've got more up there than i can eat I've got another one hanging right here that's pretty large. You leave some of those for seed. Let them, let them fully grow on here. See, I pull this out. I'm gonna let them lay there. This, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect seed out of this. Cut it open, let it dry. But I'm gonna let them lay down here till they dry in this garden as much as they will. And there's another row of tomatoes here. I went through here and plowed today. Grass is fully taken. We got some, now these, that plant right there, 
is okra. They come up late, somewhat volunteer, but now we did plant some seed. They didn't do as well as I wanted, but I planted some pumpkins in there. They're big enough you cannot ply it without pulling your pumpkin vines up. So we left that. This here's butter beans. I'm gonna give you a walk through how our butter beans and our, you see how this grows together real quick. I come through here three days ago with a machete and cut my way through here so that I could walk and pick. But you see this? Rattlesnake pole beans and they loaded in here. Right, it's time to uh, pick again. And what I do is this wire, I need to put another, uh, let me back up. Now I pushed that and it opened up. You can see how wide of a gap I've got now. That wire had just laid over. I need to probably add some more supports to that. But uh, I was gonna give you a look. See these butter beans up in here? They still real flat. These butter beans and stuff haven't made yet. Peas and stuff have all been making, but now when you when you get them up this this particular butter bean, they'll load up, but they always come in late. And see how flat they are; those will get very very large. But now I have already been picking these beans. I like to pick them when they're about like that. Now when I get some like these right here, you see how large these are getting. I'm going to let them get a little larger and I shell a few. Let me just show you on one for demonstration. These are snap beans now. But you see how that bean start to get some color to it. You can't hardly tell it on this. But it's a kind of a... I don't know if you can see better up here in the sun. Well, I dropped it. It's getting some stripes to it. But anyway, when they get that big, you can just shell them out. But I was just gonna do it. See, I come through here with a machete and I just trim these back. But it's vines getting so heavy, it's trying to fall over. So what I'm gonna have to do is come in here and put me some supports, prop these, uh, this fencing up. Because this, these vines, I mean, it is, that is a thick vine growing through there. But now they'll make a lot of butter beans. You see several of these. Now this is, this is perfect picking right here. That'll snap. But anyway, just gonna give you a quick look. Where well, we at this late in the year, if I can get my way back out of here. A good place to get a bunch of what they call chiggers. We call them red bugs here in Mississippi. And we got some corn. This is golden bantam corn. It's not quite ready yet. I come in and you see these hog buyers all in here. I cut all them down. Pretty well see, there's still a large one there. But this, these, these silts just starting to dry, but you can see they still limber, still got a purplish tint to them. Uh, we got a little bit on this. Now I picked some corn down the other side, but on this side of these pole beans, you can see you can pretty well walk down through here pretty easy. Uh, it's the same way on the other side of the butter beans. Uh, probably next year I'll space those two out and, and leave me a run in the middle where I can plow my tractor. I intended to do that this year, but I've got these too close together. Next year I plan on this row, and I did that this year, and I wound up somehow getting mixed up, but look right here. But none of them are ready yet. Still very flat. You wait till that butter bean gets fat. But you can still walk right through here and, and pick very, very easily. I can dig all through here, but see, I need to get me, I need to get something and and pull this vine back up this way. All right. Thank y'all for watching my videos. I'm probably going to do a video later this afternoon, canning some tomatoes, and I'll show you kind of how I go about canning. But uh, you can see some yellow blooms right here. That's pumpkins. We're gonna decorate for fall. So these are some of these, most of them are ornamental pumpkins. 
but we've got pumpkins growing in three different places but at this point you just got to let the grass take it which it'll help shade those pumpkins so it'll be good for them and i want you to see you see these plants right here this is mustard greens they come up volunteer and i left them i'm gonna pick some here pretty quick i mean they they pretty well thick in here in fact this row they they pretty solid on it thank y'all for watching my videos like if you like what we do like our videos tell your friends about it we just try to share a little a way we do things uh i know you look in this garden and you say that it's you know got a lot of grass in it purpose of this video is to show that you can have stuff working we don't fully homestead uh what we do is we do pottery you can see some of my pottery videos on here i'm trying to add a few more of them but uh this is this is just trying to grow food to help supplement what we do we're not by any means hobby gardening i'm i'm trying to supplement some of our lifestyle feed my family and that's what the purpose of this is it's not not to see how beautiful a garden i can grow it's to show you can grow food and 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 for cheap and with very little maintenance i mean it's got some maintenance to it yeah it's a lot of work don't fool yourself don't think it's, there's no work to this it's, it's a lot of work but uh I, I try to get out here and do what i can and i hoed some of this out today where you can find the plants and it's still producing it's july the 20th it's hot um, heat index right now is getting up around 110 115 uh temperatures here in mississippi don't really get that high we're getting the high 90s sometimes it hit breaks 100 but very rarely but the humidity is what kills us here so humid um so you have to drink a lot of water but you can work do other things to make a living to make you money and then help support your family with growing some food this this stuff that we grow is a whole lot better than as far as taste and what you go to a grocery store and buy so if you like what we're doing like these videos tell your friends about it. i'm just trying to share a little of the way we do things and a little bit of tips on how you can maybe some other options a way that you hadn't thought about it's by by no means the only way to do things are the best way i don't i don't never try to claim that this is the best way to do anything i'm just merely showing you how i like to do things so like our videos appreciate you watching thank you